everybody. I'm Alice K. Recklehouse from Threshold of Hineni and the Widow Recklehouse. And we're going to continue working on our modern millinery journal. So we painted these yesterday. And so I'm going to do those so we can I can show you how we're using that. And we put on this pocket and I want to put something under it. And um, and I also want to add this bling to something that I had in mind. So don't let me forget to do that. Yell at me, you guys, if I forget to do it. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is put something under here. And I, I want to continue to reflect this black and white. So I want to use this. I could, I had thought I could do a belly band here out of this kind of a wide belly band. Or I was thinking I could do another book page thing, but use this down the middle. I want it to look heavier than this because it's going to be lower. So I kind of like the idea of using this and making a pocket that goes this direction. So let's do that and we might even, hmm. Okay so then this part could either be like a belly band on this or it could just be like sewn down or it could even be a pocket at the top. I'm thinking not a pocket at the top because it, it's I do sometimes have things, you know, pockets underneath a pocket and you've got the fed, the tag um, ribbon or whatever coming up here, but sometimes that's a little bit difficult. So I'm thinking either on the side, yeah, I think it'll be a pocket on the side and then I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with that, but let's cut it first. Okay, so how big do we want this to be? This will be the same width, which is kind of nice. It should be either the same width or a little bit wider. But if we were going to put in a belly band, then stuff would be sticking out of it. So that would make that make up for the width. Okay, so I think let's make this come down to here where it says about a woman. Let's actually go down a little bit lower. Let's actually let's just do right here where it says I cry at nothing, cry most of the time. How sad. Okay. So I think I'm going to cut these both at the same time so that let's make sure it's going the right direction. Well, I guess it doesn't matter until we glue it. Um, but we want to have them be the same length. Okay. So I'm going to just bring this along here to make sure that I cut it straight. All right. Right there, I think both of those and set this aside. Okay. So we're going to do it like this. Yeah. Now, I guess what I'm trying to decide is do I want to sew it all the way down or do I want to leave like part of it open because I'm going to have the pocket right here. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and sew it all the way down. So let me move these and sorry there's so much in the way I can't pull my sewing machine forward so um, and again you could just glue this. That's definitely an option. Okay. I'm just going to sew the sides and that still leaves us the option of having a top or even a bottom pocket. Sometimes a bottom pocket can be kind of fun and since this is just sewn flat on there, um, a bottom pocket would work really well because it's tight enough that nothing's going to fall out. Let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and sew across the top here. Okay, and then I think I want to do the same thing that I did on this pocket and use felt pen all the way around the edge. So we're going to get that and get my pen. And I'm going to go ahead and go over this black because this little white bit there from a heart is a little misleading and it makes it look like we've got like a thumb thing there. Although it's kind of hard to, here I did it, go over the thread. <laughs> go all the way. All right, and I'm not going to have a thumb hole on this one. I don't really like the looks of having a thumb hole on the side unless I were to like turn it sideways. All right, so there we go. I'll just go ahead and go along the bottom because we did that on the top. And 
just then along the side. See how easy that is, you guys? And you can see how I didn't do it perfectly. I do want to get the whole edge, though. See how easy that is, but what a difference it makes? Simple little things like that can just make all the difference in the world. Okay, and then I pulled out some trim that I'm not sure if I want to use or not, but I thought it's so pretty. Look at that. It's just like the right colors and everything. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure what I would do with it on here because I am I do want to leave this open um, yeah I think I'll just use it someplace else it is really cute though okay but we may have too much going on here okay so I think yeah I'm just gonna put this on here now I want to I'm gonna glue it on and I want to leave this side open so I'm gonna hold my finger there so I don't forget oh shoot I didn't have my glue upside down so hopefully it's not gonna give me any problems okay we're going to do this and then we're going to do some Rita Donnelly flips and then I want to add just a little tiny bit of bling. In fact, I might do that before the Rita Donnelly flips just so that I don't forget to one of the envelopes that we did earlier. Oh, come on, glue. I don't mind so much when it does this when I'm not on camera, but I don't like to make you all wait around for me to get my glue working. <laughs> there we go there we go I can feel it yay get the rest of the side good okay and then I'll put it upside down in my basket okay so I've got this side open and it's going to go over here so and the bottom is open of the black part that'll be kind of cool okay this is the same size so we want to line them up there we go there we go. All right, so we've got a pocket right here, and then we've got a bottom pocket of this black layer there. Okay, so let's, I don't see any glue sticking out where I can stick the pages together, so we're going to go ahead, oops, that's just a little bit crooked. Here we go. Yeah, this glue is also nice because it doesn't dry so fast that you can't make adjustments, but it does dry pretty quickly. Okay, so now we're going to make our Rita Donnelly flips. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fold these in half into triangles. And if I was doing a grungy or, you know, like vintage looking journal, then I would um, ink a lot of this. So I would ink the edges all the way around on the part that's going to be on top. And then I would also fold this back and ink the center line on the inside and then all the way around this. Okay, um, because it's gonna go in the corner, not, not of this page, but it's gonna go in the corner like this. This is gonna be a pocket right here and then this is gonna flip open to be written on. Okay, so let's find the page that we wanna do this on. So we don't have anything across from this black and white page, so that would be a good place to do this. Let me get my pages even so I don't end up having it partly on another page, which I would do. <laughs> um, I don't want the hearts to be upside down though, so we're going to turn it this way. And this has a little bit of white showing, so I'm going to quickly trim that off. Where are my scissors? Here we go. Sorry, hopefully this doesn't jiggle the camera. I don't want any of the white showing, so I'm going to just trim that off really quickly. I could use my um, paper trimmer, but it's just easier to pick up my scissors here. Um, the other thing that we could do is we could use one of my fancy scissors, but let's just do this one just straight. Okay, so then this is so easy to do, you guys. If you want to sew it, you could, because this is on the edge, but you would just sew here and here. I'm going to glue this one, though. So I'm gonna glue it. Let me make sure I've got this going the right direction. Okay, so I'm not gonna glue this side. Okay, I'm just gonna glue these two edges. So let's do that. I'm gonna run my nozzle through there so I don't have glue seeping out. And then this edge too. And it always does like go all the way to the edge. So even though I didn't put the glue to the edge, I want to get it kind of like even with the bottom of the page. 
and the side of the page as much as possible. Okay, so there you've got it. It's really easy to do. So you've got a pocket right there, okay? And then we can flip this open and you can write here where we've got it all painted pink. And that pink paint is really good. Any, any color of that kind of paint is really good for writing on. Okay, so now let's find another page for this one. We want a page that has some black and white on across, you know, it's across from a black and white page. So we've already got black and white there. Actually, let's go from the back. So we don't have anything black and white here. So we turn to a great page. So let's go ahead and fold this in half. And I think we're going to do this one just a little bit different, just for fun. And we're going to use some crazy scissors. I just grabbed some out of here. I wasn't even sure which ones I was getting. And I'm going to cut along the side here. I, this is a whole set of scissors, you guys. Um, you saw it in that teacup when I did the video about shopping my um, my craft room. It doesn't cut through two thick pieces very well. <laughs> this is thick paper, just like the um, pad of paper. Blech gnarled it up here but I can clean it up with my scissors. I don't want to cut them separately because then I won't be able to get them even. Okay and then let's also do the other side. So this side right here. Excuse me. I'll show you the scissors in a moment and I'll link them. I love these scissors. When you're just doing one piece of paper they do cut really nicely but this is thick paper and I've got two sheets you know because it's folded so it is having kind of a hard time cutting through that I didn't realize it would do that but that's all right we can fix it up okay we've got some here that we need to just pull off there we go and so then that's how it looks it looks a little fancier and so we want to like leave some green border over here to kind of show that off okay and then we're going to do the same thing i've got my hearts going right side up want to make sure of that if there's a direction to the design, design make sure that you've got it going the right way and so the black and white kind of reflects from this side so it ties it together better and let's go ahead and put our glue on here If you've got a bottle that's fairly full, then while you're working, you can just lay it on its side, and that way it all doesn't flow to the bottom. But my bottle is almost empty, so I really need to put it upside down while I'm working. Okay. So see how I've left some green here so that we can really emphasize that cutout edge that we did. And again, we've got a piece of paper here. We've got a pocket there, and we can write here. Okay, so that's really fun. Okay, so now let's find the page that I wanted to put a little bit of bling on. Um, and I think when I do my tags in here, I'll probably use like this paper to kind of pull that part together too. But if I don't, that's okay. It's just you know, it's just me. It's the way I like to do things. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have to find that page that I want to put the bling on really quick. Um, I'm not sure if it's close to the front or the back. It must be the back because we're in the center now. And you'll see it'll make a big difference if I find it <laughs> if I don't then I'll look for it and do it in another video I guess I'll look for it and do it in another video okay so I think that's all that we were gonna do today so we're good and I love you all and I will see you next time bye bye